Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So continuing with our topic on test automation obstacles, let's look at our next obstacle, which is called the addition. Now this is a pretty simple obstacle where we need to uh, add two numbers and then provide the sum of the numbers here. The only challenge here is these two numbers are not static they are uh, two randomly generated numbers, okay? So if now I refresh this particular page, you will see that these numbers change, okay? So that's the only difficulty here. So you need to um, add these two numbers which are randomly generated and change every time. And then you need to uh, get the sum and write it here, okay? So for example, if this, is one, four, three, and then uh, you will see that the obstacle is completed, okay? So pretty simple if you know how to uh, do this. So let's see uh, in Tosca how we can uh, achieve this particular obstacle, right? So coming back here, uh, first we need to scan this particular application. Okay, so here I'm going to scan the application and then, um, we will look out for the numbers. So here are the numbers you can see. And then uh, we have also the result, right? Which is a text box. So now if you look at these two numbers, we don't actually need the numbers. We need the elements. And then using the inner text, we can get the actual value, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the names here. I'm going to call this num1 and num2 right and then um, i'm going to see this obstacle okay so i'm going to copy this number and i'm going to rename this module okay and then i'm going to save this okay so our module is ready now uh, this is the module and you can see num1 num2 and the result right so now uh, let's go to our test cases and then under obstacles, we are going to create a new test case here. Okay, and then uh, we are also going to drag the module into this test case, right? Now coming to this particular test case, uh, now we have got the num1, right? But it is randomly generated. So we cannot just uh, scan that particular element and then use the value there, right? So we need to basically store this into a variable so that whatever uh, number is uh, being displayed on the page, it can capture that and save it somewhere, right? So the best possible option is to buffer that particular number, right? So I'm going to change uh, the action mode to buffer here and then uh, we are going to grab the inner text of this particular number, right? And uh, we are going to save it into a buffer, right? Uh, and the same we are going to do for the next number. We are going to use buffer here and we are going to get the inner text and save it into another buffer, right? So this way uh, we can grab the numbers. Um, even if those are randomly generated, we will get the numbers which are currently present on the page, right? So once we have got the numbers and we have stored them into buffers, now we need to add those two numbers, right? Now I cannot directly go ahead and add uh, two buffers like B underscore num1 plus B underscore num2. It will give you no result, right? Uh, because uh, Tosca needs a function through which it can perform the mathematical calculations. And that function is called the math function, okay? So using this math expression, uh, you can perform any kind of mathematical calculations, whether it is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or any other ma mathematical calculation you want to do, you have to use the math expression, right? So. Uh, here in the result, what we are going to do, we are going to use the math expression. As I said, inside this, we need to provide the operands and the operator, right? So 
here the operands are the buffers. So I'm going to use buffer here. So I'm going to build this particular expression here. Okay. And then I'm going to use the operator here plus as the operator, we want to add the two numbers, right? So here again, the next buffer, and I'm going to build this. So, and num2, and then um, I'm going to close this, okay? So this is how uh, the expression looks like, okay? So we have used the math expression. Inside that we have our operands and the operator, uh, which is nothing but the addition operator, right? So now uh, let's go ahead and execute this and let's see whether it is able to add the two numbers and enter it into the text box or not. Okay, so here uh, you can see that uh, it entered uh, the number or sum of the two numbers, which is correct, right? But even though it entered correctly the sum, you can see the obstacle was not completed. I mean, we did not get the message that it was completed. And the reason for that is uh, we just inputted the number, right? But here, uh, this particular application, what it is expecting that you are typing the number like a normal user, right? So for that, uh, we need to change how we input the numbers into the text box, okay? So rather than just inputting them, what we will do, uh, we will enter the keys one by one, okay? And for that, we are going to use something called the send keys expression, right? So using the send keys expression, we can send the keys one by one. And in that way, it will emulate a user typing the number into the text box, okay? So let's see if that makes a difference. So I'm just going to put the same expression inside the send keys now, okay? So this is how the expression will look like. So uh, let's go ahead and execute this and see whether uh, it makes any difference or not, right? So I'm going to refresh this page so that we get some new numbers here. And then uh, we are going to execute that uh, from the test case, right? So let's go ahead and execute that. Before that, I will change the work state to completed and then I will execute this. And this time around, you will see that uh, the message uh, will appear and the difference is pretty clear, right? So if you are entering like a user, then uh, the application is able to recognize that, okay, the numbers have been entered. But if you just use the input function, then um, it will probably not work sometimes, right? Even though you have entered the correct number. So sometimes you need to uh, adjust uh, the inputting uh, methods in your test cases. But this is how uh, you can basically buffer uh, your randomly generated numbers. And then uh, you can use the math function to uh, perform any mathematical calculation. And then you can also use the send keys expression to uh, enter the number into the text box field. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.